today we're going to work on pre-crawling. This is a really wonderful and fundamental movement. We all learn to do it as babies, but we often forget as adults. This pre-movement is fantastic for coordinating our mobility and our stability. This is a fundamental movement pattern that we'll use prior to strength training, but is still going to be efficient for anybody who's in strength training already, no matter how elite of an athlete you are. So to complete this activity, we're going to come to all fours. We're going to work with our hands directly underneath our shoulders and our knees directly underneath our hips. Our hands are going to be fully flat on the floor with our fingers spread. Now, I'm going to emphasize these movements but in reality, when you complete them, they're not gonna be quite this big. So I'm gonna press so hard down into a diagonal line. So I'm gonna press my right hand into the ground and then my left knee to create a diagonal line. I'm gonna press so hard that it feels like my opposing diagonal is lessening pressure. So I'm lessening the amount of tension or pressure on my left hand and my right knee as I push my right hand into the floor. And then I'm gonna switch, pressing this diagonal down so much I could lift on this side without shifting my torso and my spine. We're just alternating how hard, which diagonal we're pressing into to reduce the pressure on the opposing diagonal. So one diagonal receives pressure and the other diagonal relieves or lightens the pressure. So we wanna maintain an even breath as we inhale and exhale. So exhaling, pressing everything into the ground on this diagonal and then inhaling to neutral and then exhaling, pressing into this diagonal to reduce the pressure on this one. So this motion is fundamental and layerable. So once you feel like you really accomplished being able to transfer the weight of the diagonals back and forth, you can start advancing by crawling forward and back on both sides. This is also can be advanced into a hover where we're lifting our knees here. We can also press our feet out into a plank from here. So this fundamental movement transitions from a mobility to a stability and even further into a strength training exercise. So no matter how advanced you've gotten, this basic principle is a fantastic exercise to revisit regularly.